Well, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, cold compacting this clover food plot first, and then I'm gonna come in and spread the clover and cold compact it again. Uh, this is a new method, so I'm gonna see how it works. It ought to work pretty good. But this is the before, and I'll show you the after here in a little bit. I got one little wet spot, but I'll come back and get it. But uh, here's the finished product right here. Here's the finished product right here. That looks good. Now that clover, that clover is now going to be, you only want it about a quarter, half inch deep. So when I broadcast this on top of this and I come back and cold pack it again, it should be perfect and we'll be set. So. Got a couple more plots to do and I'll be done. Well, here it is right before the rain. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give a big shout out to Brent, my best friend, for uh, being here to help me do this because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get this done. But anyways, we're trying to beat the rain and uh, I'm putting 624-24 fertilizer in with the Real World Clover and Chicory. And uh, the reason I'm using 624-24 is because clover produces nitrogen and you really don't need a high nitrogen number. The 24 of phosphorus which is the second number that's not going to hurt anything by being that high and the last number is the potash and I'm telling you right now the more potash you can have the better so we're going to go ahead and get started and hopefully beat this rain so let's go That's a wrap. And we got the clover all done. Next on the list will be the soybeans. But uh, for now, we're just praying for some rain. Hopefully, Mother Nature is kind to us. So, next, soybeans. <laughs> 